blessing to the name of our Lord Jesus Christ who had given us another day to see till day will come. Um, there is a message I want to share with us with the Spirit of God wanting me to explain about this. If I will have the idea what that word is and I know that we are going to see the actual light in that wall which we keep up moving forward because this is going to help us to endure and build our hope and empower our strength in moving forward in things of the kingdom of God especially ministers of God if those who are not ministers being a helper in the house of God or you are God worshiper that really put your mind in expectation of second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ this is just wonderful there is a message we are going to look at uh, called reward reward please I want you to listen to this message and I'm begging everybody that have access to this message. If you love other brethren, please share this message. That is if it's blessed. But if it bless you, make sure you share it. So we are talking about reward. Reward. Reward, you know, it is a thing that... Uh, recognize of one service one service effort means they appreciate you know uh, that one was touched by what you do through your either good or bad you know good or bad have its way of impressing people you know when you are doing good you impress the kingdom of god you impress god your creator when you are doing evil you are impressing satan and that's it he has his own reward for you god have his own reward for you and satan have his own reward for you you know the difference between god and Satan is one God will let you see some manifestation physically that will be a blessing to you and that's just for this world and the second one of God is eternity is waiting for you you gonna live like him that is the reward that is the reward and we are going to look at this message in two types the earthly reward and heavenly reward. The earthly reward and the heavenly reward. Please let listen carefully. We are going to look at the earthly reward. Genesis chapter 15 verse 1. After this sin, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in the vision saying fear not abram i am thy she and thy exceedingly great reward you know if you look at this place it's not really long that god called abraham but the journey is kind of a little bit you know on fully understandable to him but there is an encouragement because God is the beginner of the journey. And that is what everybody needs to realize about this war. You're coming to this war, the originated of the beginning of that journey of you in this war is mighty God because he's the creator. He's the one that sent you for his purpose. For his purpose. Likewise, our children, we know a reward of living better is waiting for them 
when we let them go to learn in the school and graduate without the graduation no reward but by graduated a certain reward is waiting for them like in america here in the elementary school when they graduated in the final class in the uh, sixth, uh, sixth grade you know what happened they celebrate and they give them the certificate for that reward do you know it's not stopping there when you get to high school in 12th grade in 12th grade is a serious celebration i've been there my daughter was there wow it was powerful back in africa the way we even celebrate is so low in the high school we don't really celebrate but they are celebrating as she they graduated in the universities wow it was too powerful now look at the earthly things begin to think about it god is speaking to abraham here and god make him to understand in protection that means comfort you not let you fall a hand of enemy i will protect you i am your shield that is the reward for someone that walk uprightly with god in this war there are things you will enjoy now that you are going to into the realm or come to the realm of eternity because most of humanities are looking for eternity rest on heart but they didn't understand it they didn't the perfection human being is looking for on earth is in heaven and it is a reward to those who live righteously but i'm not coming there yet we're going to get to that state we are free talking about the earthly one um you will see that god is assuring of abraham likewise you and me that once you come to him once you give your life to jesus perfection security endurance empowerment yes of the glory of god we stand by you always that is the reward no battle of this war shall overcome you that is why when jesus christ was making into the apostles he said in this war you will face tribulation he didn't tell them things is going to go smoothly he said but be cheerful because i have conquered the war that the victory of living to be an overcomer it is in me i've got it that is what jesus is trying to let everybody understand the reward of here is waiting that is the earthly reward you need to understand that a thing that's already waiting for you in your good doing in your obedient you know is submissive to truth of the kingdom of god but if you don't do that oh god something else is waiting as i said look at judas is carried they will have to manipulate his heart when he be manipulated and if he can make jesus to make himself to be rich devil taught him devil make him to feel yes it's gonna happen 
you're going to be blessed. And you know the funny thing? Satan tried to call his attention and Christ cannot be captured when they were looking for him. He's thinking about that. When I just reveal Christ to them, I know they can capture him. I'm just thinking for him anyway. But I strongly believe that thought was in his heart. Because if not, he will not regret it when he saw how Christ is being dealt with. But the repentance yield to reward of Satan by lead him to death. That is the reward of earthly, the earthly reward. No wonder the Bible says, Love not the war, nor the things that of the war, whosoever loveth the war, the love of the Father is not in him. But it's talking about all areas. All areas of life. I got to break this one down because of benefit of ministers of God. All areas of life. You can minister to one person. You can travel because of one person. If you are actually carrying the kingdom of God in you. Because that shows you are saving. It meant a lot to the kingdom of God. It's just like Philip. Philip does not even aware nor understand what God wanted to do. When he asked him to head to the place he sent him to go. In the desert. And it's simply because of just one soul. And look at God. And the wealth and the glory of God was totally fulfilled on the Ethiopian man. The glory of God rested. Reward. Reward. And that souls was saved. Not just save alone was baptized, and the power of God eluded him. Reward. Reward. God have a great plan for men. If you look at uh, chapter 2 of Ruth, the book of Ruth, chapter 2, verse 12. The Lord recompense thy work and a full reward being given thee of the Lord God of Israel under who wing thou art come to trust. This is Ruth talking to, I mean, this is Naomi talking to Ruth. I want you to think about this. She's praying. For her to leave her to depart for the earthly reward, the actual reward that is waiting for, for her. I want you to listen to this. I'm not speaking heresies, it's reality. Is praying that prayer to leave her to depart for her not to see actual glory of the kingdom. Think about it. Oprah left. When she left, no one hear about her any longer. She went back to her idol, and that's all we heard about her. But Ruth stayed with Naomi, and she followed her. God beautified his glory upon her. Obedient is very important. That is to those who actually connect with God. They understand the fullness of glory of God because this is what you are going to connect with. You are not going to connect with the things of this world. 
you'll be looking at God and the beauty of his glory in perfection to manifestation in your life you know a true believer must actually think after departing out of this world because that is what is going to kept you moving forward not because of these earthly things not because of the materials of this world we needed it to survive but not to put a trust in need as see is God in our life a man of God must focusing on things that will profit the kingdom of God in your doing which is so the Bible did not tell me God was rejoicing in heaven because of worth of somebody but the Bible tells me an angels in heaven was celebrating for a source that the name is written in the book of life think about it how glorious it is many that one have been taken out of the heart of satan is fully settled to glory in heaven Ooh, hallelujah what a mighty great achievement of a man that his name or a name is written in the book of life a great reward mighty one it is a great reward first hmm. samuel chapter 24 verse 17 says as he said to david thou art more righteous than i for thou hast rewarded me good whereas i have rewarded thee evil can you see that that is saul talking to david i mean uh, talking to david yeah he's talking to david because he sees he says that my life is already given to this young man and he has never had such opportunity toward david any little chance that he has he want to pull him down but the hand of god was upon david he could see he saw it and he knew that yes he has every grace to kill him but he spear his life you know, I want you to be giving God. We all know Saul was used by God. But David refused to abuse that oil of God in him. You'll be there as a man of God. Because God is not even talking to most of people who are actually acting wrong to their own understanding with other men of God oh you are the one going to say this man is calling himself or herself a man of God oh he says an apostle mm, apostle indeed but in truth and in life God has not spoken to you you are just judging by your own understanding. That is what we call absorption. Absorption leads people to hell fire. It doesn't matter how righteous you are. If you are judging people by your understanding, it's not what God is telling you. You just put letter together and you are coming out boldly. Yes. The Spirit of God is in you. Anointing is not what you work for. I mean, 
when I say it's not what you work for, I mean that it doesn't just come anyhow. You have to really give yourself to God before you can be induced with the anointing greatly. If you know how to tarry in the wall, not just in the wall, turn the wall to be prayer. And prayer drag you to higher anointing. Because I'm using my own personal experience with this. You don't abuse the grace of God. The world is waiting for everything. You will get your own reward. I'm going to get my own reward. 1 Samuel chapter 24 verse 19. For if a man find his enemy, we let him go well away. Wherefore the Lord rewarded thee good for that thou art done unto me this day. Can you see that? It's looking at David as his enemy. But the word of life was coming from his mouth. And it, it really established in life of David. He lived victorious life, all true of his life. Your good doing reward is waiting for you. Your bad doing reward is waiting for you. Look at Saul. Even though he's anointed by God in his own present, his generation was wiped away. All his men shall die. They wipe off. His generation was wiped off. God only give reward according to what you do. <laughs> there is something we're going to look at. And this message, I want you to begin to spell your own reward. Spell it out yourself. You know what you're doing. The truth of God cannot be changed. The line of Satan cannot be changed. But it is possible for you to repent out of that evil and come to the light. For you not to get evil reward the earthly thing have changed a lot of people believe in the word of the earthly thing walking in their mind and believing in the things that you are going to live this world you can never live forever here it's not possible you have to live one day I look at some people that run their mouth come to. I'm sorry to say this. I'm not trying to judge. But it's reality of what is happening. Criticize the truth. And their end is getting worse now. And the truth come to them all the time. Because of the things of this present, because of the love of the things of the war, and giving the impression that they have the kingdom. You know, the reproach has come, the pain has come, reward. <laughs> I cannot escape it. Either you are annoyed or you are not annoyed. Either you are peeved with this message or you are not appealed with the message. Whatever you do, your reward 
is coming either good or bad including myself I can't escape my reward either good or bad you leave the judgment for God let him reward whoever that needed to be rewarded let God is God that reward people of whatever that they do look at 2nd Samuel chapter 4 verse 10 when one told me say behold Saul is dead Thinking to have brought good tidings, I took hold of him and I slid him in Zilag, who thought that I would have given him a reward for his tidings. David is speaking here. David is the one speaking here. The one that came. Can you see? And this is someone that is strongly persuading him that wanted to kill him, which is a scale many times that it threw javelin on him. And God refused to let him be struck by his mighty protection and came to tell him that he's dead. Because it's looking at God in his life. How many people you recognize God with? How many people you look in this man is a man of God? I know he's been called. This woman, she's a woman of God. I know she's been called. Than you to be by biting and be speaking evil. The reward is waiting. The life of David was glorified on heart here. It was wonderful. It was powerful because of his heart toward mighty God. You know, it comes to a point whereby God call him the man of my heart. Hmm. Look at Psalm 58 verse 11. The book of Psalm 58 verse 11 says, So that a man shall say, Verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a God that judgeth in the heart. That means nothing will stop its reward, either good or bad. Either good or bad. What reward you think is even waiting for you to have? What reward you think is waiting for you? That would take me to the second part of the message heavenly reward heavenly reward you know Christ has come to redeem us to that glory in heaven your faithfulness your uprightness your standing in the truth your effort to build the truth into heart of men, the reward is waiting for you in heaven. Matthew chapter 5 verse 12 says, Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, 
for so persecuted they the prof, prophet which were before you you know persecutions and challenges make a lot of people to fear does it what for me to do this kingdom work does it what for me to actually looking into this kingdom assignment oh look at the challenge is heavy because the lord is making the one in the present and the apostle of them to understand they already persecuted those one who are before you and you too is going to really you know get the same thing praise god and god is now asking you be exceedingly glad you need to be happy because for great is your reward we are not looking for your reward from the pocket of humanity of world people can see can say yes Or you start living life whereby you're going to make some people to be a slave to you engage them refuse to understand what God is saying about them Matthew 5 12 again rejoice and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you they persecuted them too and here what chapter 6 verse 1 say it said take heed that ye do not your alarm before men to be seen of them or their wife ye have no reward of your father which is in heaven now let's look at, at that area we are talking about heavenly reward and i'm sorry most of people that wanting when they were doing something of giving they video it they let people they take the picture they posted it in every media i'm doing this i'm giving i'm giving The Bible is telling you, take heed that ye do not your alarm before men. If you are doing it, hear it. To be seen of them, don't let them know of what you're doing is secret. Otherwise, you have no reward of your Father, which is in heaven. Because it has become what everybody, everybody knows. I gave a one dollar, I gave two dollar, I gave three dollar. Everywhere knows. Oh yes, I just give this group in Africa. I just give that in Africa. I just do this in Asia. I just do that. You are making your alarm to be known by people because of what? Listen, because of what? You want the man glory. Once you are looking for man glory, you have nothing to receive in heaven. Because your reward is waiting for you in heaven, you want the earthly reward. If you look at chapter 6, verse 2 of Matthew, Matthew chapter 6, verse 2 says, Therefore then, therefore when thou doest thy alarm, do not sound as a trumpet before thee as hypocrites do in the synagogue in the street that they may have glory of them verily i say unto you they have their reward they have their reward you've got your reward a lot of people doesn't understand what that really means by making people to know this is what we are doing A lot of things contributed to this. 
but stop looking for glory of men. Matthew chapter 6 verse 5 says, And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as hypocrites. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For they love to pray standing in the synagogue and in the corner of the street that they may be seen of men. Verily, I say it unto you, they have their reward. I'm not the one that written it. It's here, clear and written. Well, let's go to Matthew chapter 10 verse 41. What Matthew chapter 10 verse 41 is saying, He that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet shall receive prophet rewards. And he that receiveth a righteous man in the name of righteous man shall receive a righteous man reward. No one you will not receive. <laughs> it will come. Your reward is waiting for you. Let's be clear and understand what Spirit of God is calling our attention to regarding today's word. Chapter 10 verse 42 says, And whosoever shall give to drink unto one of these little ones a cup of cold water only in the name of a disciple. Verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. I pray God will help us to understand what is apparent to us and we shall receive a reward. We will not let the devil trick us with a reward in the precious mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's look at Luke chapter 6 verse 23. Rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in the like manner did their father unto prophets. Verse 35 say, But love ye your enemy and do good and lend and hoping for nothing again and your reward shall be great and ye shall be the children of the highest for he is kind unto unthankful and to the devil hello god will give you understanding of the truth of the kingdom I know no one wanted to lose his or her soul. We all want to gain eternity. We all want to bless. We don't want to lose our reward in heaven. But we got, need to understand what God is saying. Revelation 11 18. I'm coming to conclusion now. And the nation were hungry. And thy wrath is come, and the time of the of the dead, that they should be judged, and thou surely give reward unto the servant, the prophets, and to the saints, and them that fear thy name, small and great, and should they destroy. Them which destroy the heart. Can you hear that? The reward is coming. I don't know what God is going to give to you. But you know what you are doing, what you're giving yourself to. You know what you embraced. You know the truth of the kingdom. Understanding in your relationship with every humanity on earth. It doesn't really matter. My God is calling your attention to something fabulous, something great, you know, for you not to lose your reward. Here, Revelation chapter 
22 verse 12 and behold i come quickly and my reward is with me to give man according to his war shall be you get that it's coming it's coming finally matthew chapter 16 27 for the son of man shall come in the glory of his father with his angels and there he shall reward every man according to his works. Your reward is coming. My reward is coming. It's coming. But the love is crying. The truth is shouting. The crown of glory is placed down. Do you want to lose it? Come back. Understand the will of God for you. Come back. Stand in upright way of his glory. Come back. Say, God, I am ready. Is coming for the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his war. Your reward is waiting for you, my reward is waiting for me. What is this going to be your reward? That's his time to repent, to change from wrong to truth. Love not the world, nor the things that's in the world. Whoever loved the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Jesus said, if you love me, obey my commandment. Nothing with this record for you to live for Jesus. You see the way you are dressing? You see it your language? You see the way you're looking at money? You see the way you treat at people? You see pride? Nothing you cannot live for Jesus. Anything you can release it and let it go and say, Christ, come into my life. Psychos did the same thing. It got it wet. He understand the truth of the kingdom of God in judgment. He repented and he gave his heart to Jesus. Come on. Do something. Right now. Do something to waste time. The time is there for you now to say, Hubble Father. Don't forget, whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Shall be saved. Call him now. Tell him, Father, I will change. I confess my sin. I reject them all. I will not do them again. Lord, I understand now. I'm waiting for heavenly reward heavenly reward and that is what I want that is what I want have mercy upon me in the name of Jesus have mercy have mercy have mercy forgive me of my sin and let the truth of your kingdom establish your glory in my life in the precious name of Jesus Christ God accept me Lord take me feel me empower me let truth of your kingdom Rest mightily upon me in the name of Jesus, and your glory shall be established in the name of Jesus. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Pray, pray, pray. Lord, help me. Help me, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I just want to thank you for this time. Be thou exalted. May this word not die. Let it go here, O Lord. Lord, I prayed 
that will touch the people you are speaking to. It will touch the people that you want to change in your life. It will touch people that you want them to have understanding about the heavenly and earthly reward. God, I pray, let there be a great visitation. Empower your people. Lose them from all kind of trouble of life. And let the beauty of your glory rest mightily upon them. Thank you, Father. Lord, I pray that the power of your glory we spread this good news in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious Redeemer, I pray it. And Amen. And Amen. Thank you for watching.